uh, with the aluminum stuck on the uh, the aluminum stuck on the inside, we can't get it out of the outside. All right. So now we're gonna videotape. I'm gonna put the camera over here for its own safety. We're gonna videotape this. Hopefully, we'll be able to put this on YouTube. This is what happens when you run a fruit cap over. I want to do it. Let me okay. do it. Okay. I gotta zoom in a little here. Take the camera. Zoom in a little here. We're gonna run a fruit cake over with the lawnmower. All right. Here we go. A fruit cake run over with the lawnmower. Okay, didn't be bogged down at the lawn door. Hold on a second. Ah, that's too bad though. It's gone. It's pretty much gone. And now just go with samples. Delicious. The bottom. Put it all out there and then run it through the snowblower. Pico using actually gloves as he slices with the razor blade through the cranberry sauce container. Is this going to be any time today, do you think? <laughs> We're open. We're getting it open. He's open. No, he's getting it. It's going now. It's going now. He's got it because the top is a is a twist off top. It wouldn't all slide out of the top. Ah, there we ah, go. Good job, dude. Ah. Now, now we're going to slide that out onto the pavement here. We're going to slide it out right on, onto the pavement. This one I think I'm going to let Duco do, and I'm going to stand at a bit of a distance. Cranberry sauce is coming out onto the pavement. There it is. It's out on the pavement. How much is that? Six, six pounds? Five ounces, yeah. Six pounds, five ounces of cranberry sauce through the snowblower. It's like a big coffee can. It is. It's like a large coffee can, very purple. It's not the kind with the berries in it. It's just the sauce kind. I'm trying to get a good angle for the video camera. So I can put this on YouTube or something later. It's flopping down. It's really disgusting. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens when you run cranberry sauce through a snowblower. This is our job. We've got rock. We've got hard-boiled eggs. We've got mustard and mayo. We're going to go ahead and put some mustard on the hard-boiled eggs. That's probably enough unless you like them. Mm. That's nice. And then some mayo in on the hard-boiled two points. Put some mayo in with the hard-boiled eggs. There we go. And mix the, get the mayo out of there a little bit. You don't really need to mix it. I think the snowblower will do that. Do you know? <laughs> That's the point now we're going to dump them all in a pile here on the ground. Shoot them out of the snowblower. And Duke is going to eat snowblower deviled eggs. Delicious. All right. So let's, where do you want them? Right about here? Put them right about here. Right? This is where you want them? Right, right here. Make sure they stay close. There you go. Snowblower double X. Wow, a little gritty. A little gritty? That might be from the parking lot pavement. No, there's a cranberry. It's not bad. You don't like the cranberry in there. The grit doesn't bother you what the cranberry does. No, see, this part, this is good. 
Yeah, okay, there's that much cranberry in there. Now he's eating it right off the truck. That's how delicious it is. That's good. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Does it really taste like a deviled egg? Yes, it tastes Very it. much so. It tastes like a chunk right there. Like a deviled egg. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> there. Right off the side. Oh, you dropped it right there. No matter how many you drop, I'm still gonna make you do it. I know. For the camera. Get that face. Oh my god, yeah, it is. <laughs> just like a double egg. Yeah. We give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you're gonna be doing double eggs, we suggest you do them with the snowblower because look, if you make normal double eggs, how long does that take you? An hour, 45 minutes. At least, at least. Whereas with this, it was 15 seconds. So make sure you order one now. Remember, set them and forget them. Double eggs. If you act now, we'll throw in the lawnmower. There you go. Interesting, huh, Lisa? It does. It's like Boeing on the side. Now, so we've decided instead we're going to make ham salad. We're going to take the canned ham now off the grill. Careful, Duco's using some special instruments for that. He's lifting it with the pliers. We're going to open the, we're going to open the ham. Mmm, oh, smells delicious. <laughs> this may be the way to cook a ham. Try and get these uh, all these experiments on YouTube later today. We can. We have the mayo and the mustard. We're out of mustard. We're out of mayo. Give Fine quality performance. <laughs> 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 